Okay, so now we've got this uh, track going on here. This is one of the projects that comes with Machine uh, called Button Face. So we're going to go here into the File menu. I'm going to export audio. So now we're going to export audio in a couple of different formats. This first one's going to be uh, Master Output with All Scenes, okay? And we've got it normalized. Uh, we've got our loop optimized going on, and we're going to do it at 16-bit. Uh, so I export it now. And it's bouncing the uh, files down to one overall master file. So it's bouncing the audio output from the master. And it says, done, right there. Okay, so now once I've bounced that file down, it appears on my desktop, and it is a WAV file. As you can see right here, it says buttonface.wav, W-A-V. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to right-click it, and we're going to open with, got a couple of options here, many options, and I'm going to use QuickTime Player. It recognizes the file. I'll pull it over here, and I can play it. And you can see it right there, this is the beginning and the ending, which is 47 seconds. Okay, now next I'm going to export these files as group. Let's go back to group here, and there's group, right? And we want to uh, export all these groups here. And I'm going to export, same settings, normalize, loop optimize, and my 16-bit bit depth. And we're bouncing those files down. Optimizing loops. And says done. I'm going to close this. And look at the file. Now what happens here, we don't just get one file. We get five different files. One representing each group that was in the project. And those are the groups that were selected. Okay? So I can uh, pick a group to play back. I'll go to this kick and snare right here. And I'll, uh, let's see, open with QuickTime again. I'll pull QuickTime up. Let's drag it over here so we can see it. And I'll play it back. This is a great way to have just certain sections of your project already in files. And I'll go back to here again. I can pull this one up as well. And I'll open with QuickTime again. And I'll play this file back. So it's right there. It's full maximum level. And they're all the same length. As you can see, they start at uh, 0.05 and they end at 0.47 seconds. Now, another way to bounce out these uh, files and to get these files exported out of machine is to just get sounds. So, for example, here I've got a group selected, which is the A group, which is kick and snare. And so right here below that in the group section here for the pattern, as you can see here, we have all the different sounds as you can see here that we have on this particular track. And if I don't want to use this, I can say, well, look, I don't want to use that sound, just get rid of it. So they're all here. And I can just say I want to just export this group. So group of sounds. So I'm going to go here to export. And I have all scenes, as you can see there. And I can go to just sounds. And since I have that kick and snare selected, it's only going to export the sounds that are in that group, see? And now, I have a destination selected, which is my desktop. And we're going to normalize again, loop optimize, and now we're going to go to, so it's bit depth, now I'm just going to export these files. And now we're exporting each one of these files separately to our desktop.
optimizing loop. As you can see here, it's optimizing the loop here for each one of these sounds, and it says done. Let's check them out. Let's close this and look at the sounds. Now let's uh, hide this. Here we go. I've got these sounds right here, see? And I've got 11 different sounds. And these are all the sounds from each track. Now I'm going to pull one of them up here. And we're going to open this one up with QuickTime as well. So we're on a Mac here. And you'll see it's one length here. I'll play it back. Nice strong kick drum, and that's all you hear. So I can export each separate sound as its own WAV file. This is great sometimes using a different software. I can export them in the Pro Tools, in the Logic, even in the Reason, and I can use them again. So it's a great way to export files out of machine to use any way you want to.